How should you think of a time where we've been publicly humiliated? Like shame in front of dozens of people for no apparent reason. What had this happened to me before? And quite frankly, I did not like it. Let's talk about it. This story takes place a couple years ago when my friend, let's call him Bean, called me up and said, Kenny, we're buying the tickets for a trip to LA right now. Get ready, grab your wallet. Hey, I don't, I don't know. I don't wanna, you know, it's gonna involve me getting out of bed. I don't wanna. No, Kenny, you're not flicking on us this time. Grab your stuff, we're going. Uh, uh, fine, I grab it right now. So we buy the tickets and fly to LA and I gotta say it was an amazing trip. I did not regret spending that money. The best trip I've ever been on. One of the places we wanted to visit while we were there was Beverly Hills. What they all tried to be more precise. So anyway, we go there, we take a couple pictures, we visit a few stores, we buy a couple stuff, you know, we're just doing a general tourist thing. And I tell my friends to keep their eyes open for a watch door because I wanted to buy one as a souvenir. At some point, we passed the Rolex store and my friend Bean said, Kenny, you need a watch, don't you? Let's go into the Rolex store right now and buy one. Come on, man. You got the money, spend it. But no, I ain't got that kind of money. You crazy, you must be crazy. Rolex is way too expensive. Let's keep going down, we'll find another store. Bet. So we keep checking until a few stores down, we find this pretty cool looking store. It was decked out all black, and we instantly wanted to go in there. Bean said, Kenny, this is the store, you have to buy the watch there. How much would a watch cost anyway? Two, three hundred dollars? Don't worry about it. Spend that money, we're on vacation. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Let's do it. I was like, cool, cool, I'll buy it. If it's two, three hundred dollars, I'll buy it. Even five hundred, I got the money, I'll do that. Let's go in. So we walked in the store, it was packed full of people and security. It was no place to move, and we had eyes on you at all times. It was basically a mix of a wave and Fort Knox up in there. So we find a store clerk, and I tell her to show me a good but cheap watch. I told her I couldn't spend more than like $500 and to give me the best possible watch she could give me at that price. She shakes her head and she brings me over to the watches. She starts taking watches out of the glass case and start relaying them down. The second watch I see, I instantly fell in love with it. Oh my God, I couldn't wait to get this thing on. It was all black, nice and sleek. It was beautiful. I was like, oh, that one, that one, I'm going with that one. You don't wanna see anything else? No, that one, that one, just that one. All right, put your wrist out. I pull my wrist out, she puts it on me, and I instantly start posing. I felt like a rapper up in there. Mm -hmm. Money, mm -hmm. money, mm -hmm. money, money. All right, I love it, ma'am. How much should it be? She looks me dead in the eyes and forgets everything I told her before this and says, 5,200. In 26 towels. Excuse me. I froze. My friends froze. And then my eyes, the whole store froze. She kept on looking me in the eyes with a smug and condescending look on her face. Can you repeat that, please, ma'am? 5,226 towels. Do you maybe have another watch? Nothing else that's cheaper? Nope. Before I break it then, woman. I ain't got no money to pay for it. All right, as you wish. She takes the watch off of me, and my friend Onion says, Kenny, maybe this store isn't for us. Let's go somewhere else. We can find something else. Yes, maybe it's not. At that point, we realized that woman was crazy, and we better dip out of her before she tried to get us arrested for beating rich people in. We kept on shopping, we kept on enjoying ourselves, because we'd be damned if we were gonna let that woman wear a vacation. More of the story is, some people can be jerks. If this ever happens to you, I want you to forget about it as soon as it happens, and to move on with your life. Or, or, I like that one better, you could come back with a lot of money and put the woman that dish. Please, 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 if you liked and enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comment if something like this ever happened to you before. Or even better yet, let me know how you would have handled that woman. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Kobe.